scammers. We all know a scammer, except me. But you? Yeah, you. Nine times out of ten, I bet you know a scammer. And it's no different when it comes to your favorite celebrity. But some of them are the scammers. So sit back and relax while I talk about some of the biggest celebrity scammers. Hey guys, Don here, your favorite friendly pop culture whore. If you follow me on Instagram, I did post in my story that the next video will be about an actor, which is this video, but uh, change of plans. But that video is still in the works. By the way, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Here on YouTube, I'm like PG, but on Instagram and Twitter, I'm rated R. I might make this into a series, so if this video does really well, I'll do a part two. Who knows, as apparently no one knows what their next video will be. Now, let's get into the video. Billy McFarlane and Ja Rule. Fire Festival. Picture it. December 12, 2016, supermodels Kendall Jenner, Emily Ratajkowski, Bella Hadid, and other influencers posted on their Instagram the most luxurious music festival, Fire Festival, that was scheduled to take place on April 28th to the 30th and May 5th to the 7th, 2017, on the Bahamian island of Great Eczema. Kendall Jenner post reads, So hyped to announce my good music family as the first headliners for the Fire Festival. Get ticks now at firefestival.com. VIP access for my followers. Use my promo code blah blah blah. The next 24 hours to get on the list for the artist and talent after party on Fry K. Hashtag Fire Festival. The announcing ad posted on YouTube in 2017 promised the best food, art, and adventure, and the island the festival will be held on was owned by Pablo Escobar, which was a lie. So artists that were scheduled to perform were Taiga, Major Lazer, Migos, Discloser, and a ton more. Ticket prices range from $500 US dollars to $12,000. They sold out. These guys are either completely full of shit, or they're the smartest guys in the room. When patrons arrive at the destination, which was promised to be an experience of a lifetime, they were greeted to wet FEMA tents and mattresses piled in the air. Furthermore, the event promised gourmet food, but the attendees received plain ass cheese sandwiches. Naturally, the headlining artists started to cancel their performance because, uh, it was a straight up scam. The Fire Festival was founded by Billy McFarlane and Ja Rule. So yeah, everyone was calling the festival a scam and Ja Rule was not happy about it, so he posted on Twitter, It's not a scam and this is not my fault. Multiple lawsuits were filed against Billy and Ja Rule. Ja Rule later made statements saying he was defrauded by Billy. In November 2019, Ja Rule was dismissed from a class action lawsuit filed by the festival attendees. The judge determining that it had not been proven his promotion of the festival on social media had directly led to the plaintiffs attending. Billy McFarlane pled guilty to one count of wire fraud to defraud investors and ticket holders, and a second count to defraud a ticket vendor that occurred while on bail. He was sentenced to six years in prison and ordered to forfeit 26 million US dollars. Get out there! Lil Uzi Vert NFT Scam Lil Uzi Vert is an American rapper. What are NFTs? NFT stands for non-fungible token. According to Wikipedia, a non-fungible token is a financial security consisting of digital data stored on a blockchain, a form of distributed ledger. The ownership of an NFT is recorded in the blockchain and can be transferred by owner, allowing NFTs to be sold and traded. Don't worry, I don't get it either. Eternal Beans recruited Lil Uzi to promote their NFT in 2021. They advertise and sell 11,111 digital avatars that have traits of the rapper. His hair, tattoos, and fashion. 2.5 SOL worth roughly $337 at the time was the price of one of these Uzi Vert avatars. Eternal Beans promised exclusive Little Uzi Vert live performances, launch merchandise, NFTs, and backstage passes for NFT holders. The rapper promoted the NFT prior its launch on his Twitter account, but after the NFT dropped, after all the hype and fanfare, days after the rapper deletes his tweets, causing the price of the NFTs to drop in value. 
In one of the rapper's deleted tweets, he said that the NFTs would reach a minimum floor of 6 SOL easily. Then he pulled out days after it launched. What a f scam. Streaming is absolute shit. There's no doubt about it. And what I'm talking about is how much artists, well, how little their songs make per stream. This is one of the reasons why I pay more attention to pure sales personally because streams don't pay our favorite mainstream artists. Kanye West announced on Instagram on February 17, 2022 that Donda 2 will not be available on any commercial streaming services and will be exclusively on his stem player audio device, priced at a hefty $200. The now deleted post read, Donda 2 will only be available on my own platform, the Stem Player, not on Apple, Spotify, or YouTube. Today, artists get 12% of the money the industry makes. It's time to free music from this oppressive system. It's time to take control and build our own. Go to stemplayer.com now to order. On the Stem Player, you can isolate and remix different parts of a song played on the device. Despite this innovation, many complain that the device is not worth it when comparing the price to what it can actually do. Some also say that if a song is too complex, the device can't handle it. Oh, and regarding Donda 2, the Stem Player exclusive, so far three singles have been released from the album and you can stream them on major streaming platforms. If you cop the Stem Player, how do you feel about this? Rihanna Rihanna has also been accused of scammer activity. Savage X Fenty Savage X Fenty is a lingerie line founded and owned by Robin Rihanna Fenty, who's also the richest female musician right now. The brand and Rihanna have been accused of shady and unethical business practices. In 2019, many started to realize that they were charged a $49.95 recurring membership fee that they were unaware of. It turned out that once you place an order from their site, a membership would be automatically added to your cart. The membership would be displayed to the side in the cart and did not include the price, but would have the X to remove it. But come on, let's be real, most people will not see this, especially if there was no price displayed. You can opt out of paying for a month, but only if you skip on the fifth of each month. Otherwise, you'll be billed $49.95. And to cancel the membership, you have to call the support line. What do you guys think about this video? Is it cool that these celebrities get called scammers? Is this the fault of theirs or their teams? Please murder the like button on this video and subscribe. When you subscribe, select the bell and turn on all notifications so you'll be notified when I drop my next video. I am Don, your pop culture boy, and I'll see you in the next one.